I'm Regina. Welcome to Poppy Trays. Hey guys, since it's the month of November, we've decided to do things a little differently this month. Um, we are going to try to have a video out every Tuesday and every Saturday. Uh, but on our Tuesday videos, they're going to be called Thankful Tuesdays. We want to do a video every week about pops uh, and things that we're thankful for, that those pops kind of represent. Uh, because for me and Greg, and our wheel's not here, Funko has done a lot for us. Uh, it's brought us the Funko community, which is you guys. Um, it has allowed us to meet people all over the world, and it has brought our family closer. So we thought since November is the month of Thanksgiving that we would do a video once a week saying what we're thankful for and kind of uh, that sort of thing. Yes, and this week we decided to to go with the memories. Yes. Um, we're going to show you guys uh, five pops and in any certain, not in really in any certain order of importance, just five pops and what memories are tied to those pops and why we're thankful for that memory. Um, before we kick up the first pop, I do want to mention if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and give us a like. It really helps us in the algorithm. And guys, if you'd like, take a look at our Patreon, uh, Patreon as well. Uh, the link will be below. Yes. And do you want to start? Um, you can. I'll let you uh, lead the way. All right. And first up is, this is a Boney Tony, but it's more as a generalized pop of uh, the Garbage Pail Kids. I yes. remember those as a kid. Clicking all those cards, they were neat, and it was... Uh, it kind of got me into the hobby of collecting baseball, but I'd say as most kids in the time frame, they started by collecting the garbage pail kids, and these bring, it brings back a lot of memories of my childhood. Yeah, and I think that's one reason why a lot of adults, I know me and Greg, have failed for Funko is because of the nostalgia that uh, Funko brings into our lives. Yeah. Um, my first pop would have to be the... Pop-Tarts. <laughs> As you all know, I am a huge Ed Icon fan, and one of the reasons Milton the Toaster is absolutely, um, brings back so many memories to me, is Saturday morning cartoons. Um, I can remember eating Pop-Tarts, or my niece and nephew, um, who also lived with me at the time, um, would eat their Pop-Tarts, we'd watch cartoons, and, and things like that. It just brings back all those Cool mornings, those warm, toasty pop tarts. <laughs> yes. All right. And next up for me, it's a big one. <laughs> I don't think it'll rotate too well. It uh, actually does. Oh, uh, yeah. It is Pearl Jam. Uh, I can remember rocking <laughs> out to Pearl Jam from when I was a very, you know, I, I, about my teenage years on. Me and my brother, we were both very big. Mm -hmm. Pearl Jam fan, so I couldn't have no memories without including my Pearl Jam. This was that's why as soon as I seen that this pop was being released this year, I was like, that is a must have. I got to have the Pearl Jam set, which I mean maybe there is other bands, but Pearl Jam will always hold a special place to me due to all the fun memories. <laughs> my next pop would have to be Five Nights at Freddy's Cupcake. And, let's see. Dark. Anyway, um, the reason why this pop has such a special meaning for me is, of course, Will. And Will fell in love with Five Nights at Freddy. And we had went on a trip. And on the way back, we had stopped at this little... It's not a... What do they call those little... I call it a flea market. Like, yeah, a flea market. And they had the black light cupcake uh, upstairs. And he was, what, two, maybe? Yeah. And two, three. And he wanted that little pop. And I remember we got it and took it out of the box. And, and he fell in love with it. And so I had to 
put the cupcake as one of mine because I just it makes me almost tear up because he's getting so old on me. And uh, this is one of his favorite Five Nights at Freddy's was the cupcake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really thought the cupcake yeah. was something else. He so. loved it. And so it, I just wanted to share that with you all. Yes, and you know, the last pop. Yes, the last pop uh, is very special and dear to me, and as I know it is to Greg. Um, of course, it's the Captain America. This past summer, we went on a family vacation, uh, and that included there's, there's a bunch of us. It was a, and we went on a family vacation. We happened to stop by a little shop, and we found this guy. And it just brings back the memories of when we first started collecting and running into that rare pop that you didn't think you'd be able to get for yourself and get a good deal and. I just remember Will running and jumping in this big chair. It, it, the chair back was like 10 foot tall or something. It was huge. You remember that? Yeah, it and was he, a Skeletor's chair. Yeah, so maybe not 10 foot, but it was really tall. And he, he was just so cute sitting in that chair. And I tie all those memories of that vacation to this pop. And it. so I wanted to share that with you as uh, another reason why we're thankful. Um I think memories with Funko is one of the biggest reasons I collect. Uh, Greg collects. Will collects it because we do. Because it gives him family time with me and Greg and us with him. And I hope one day when we're not here anymore, which I don't mean to get all sad and depressed, but <laughs> this will give Will something to look back on. He could see this Captain America and be like, oh, I remember when we went to and got this. So... I just, I really think this is um, something to be very thankful for. And we would love, guys, to see your videos on... What, what makes you thankful, or your memories? With Funko. Yes. Um, and anyone who would like to do it, feel free to tag us. We'll, we'll watch, we'll leave comments, because this is what it's all about. Um, the, the buying of the pops, I mean, of course, that, that's great. But to me, it's the memories, it's the family time, the nostalgia factors. Of yes. Remember when you were young, as you watched the young kids run by. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, guys, we want to thank you so very much for watching. And again, if you haven't clicked that sub button, click it now. Uh, next week, it will be another thing that we're thankful for and pops that represent that. And we hope that the start of your holiday season is going wonderfully and we hope everyone had a great Halloween and before we go if you're still watching we do have a mystery box up on whatnot and the great thing is it is a black light powered box there is the black light rabbit there is the black light ghost rider the black light Mojo Jojo that's uh, the soda chase. the soda chase there is Black Light Alice, Black Light the Treasure Cat. Cat. There's a uh, Magneto. There's, I mean, just so many Black Lights. There's a Black Light Never box. And if we could sell at least ten of our twenty boxes, we're going to put everybody's name on the wheel for the number of boxes you buy. And, and one winner will receive a fifty-dollar mystery box. Yes. So not only will you get all of these great fire pops, you will also get a free mystery box as well so guys again thank you so much for tuning in today and we want you to always remember keep, keep it, it popping, popping.